What's up guys, it's Avery. Today we are going to be breaking down all of the clothing that are brought to Europe and wherever else Kaylee and I end up. We packed one large suitcase and one small suitcase and they're both about half filled. So I think we did a pretty good job bringing stuff here, especially given that this whole YouTube thing and Staatsballett and just that we love our wardrobe, but I'm really happy with where it is right now. Although you guys will see I'm missing so many summer clothes. We're in Berlin right now, which is why we have a different setup going on for today's video, mainly because we are resetting up our factory, not in New York City anymore for Staatsballett. Quality was great, but there were some issues with communication and timelines, especially having it in Kaylee's backyard where she lived so, so close. So we're doing that. We're also doing a bit of traveling and enjoying ourselves and just taking it all in, figuring out, figuring out where we want to set up shop next. So that's why we're out here and we'll be a few other places around the world. So we had to pack lightly and that's what I want to share with you because I think it will do a good job of showing what clothes I absolutely love, what is versatile, and sharing my ideas of why I brought them and the stupid things I brought too, so you'll see. Let's start out with some shoes. All right, first of all, you guys all know these from my videos as well as social media, of course, and and Mister Patchwork Derby. This is my nicer shoe around, but it also has this really hard hitting lug sole. They've been worn down like crazy. They actually need to go to a cobbler and you can wear this on a nice occasion, say like a meeting or something like that, or a nice night out with Kaylee, but they are still very, very, dark and heavy, beautiful, beautiful. The other pair of shoes I brought, or one of four that I'm gonna show you now because I bought a pair in Berlin, are these Alix hiking boots or whatever the hell he changed the name to now. Also a Vibram sole, or this one is actually a Vibram sole, but these are actual hiking boots that I wear to hike and walk around the city. Pretty much the same silhouette as the last pair, all black too. But these I actually love to put wear and tear on. I guess I wear both of them like crazy. This is one of the things I splurged on, which is bad. Very, very bad. These are my Rick Owens. I talked about these in probably like my last two videos. Glitter boots. This geometric lacing platform boot with that huge Lego sole down here. And these, whoa. I brought just because I was so in love with them, I couldn't get rid of them, couldn't get them out of my mind or whatever. And I thought, oh, I'll just wear them on the plane whenever we're flying around. I asked you guys on Instagram and everyone was like, yes, yes, yes. They have just now started peeling. So I've put miles and miles on these. I haven't really had any issues with the sole so far, but the boot, because it isn't really sewn in, that's just for looks around this midsole, is starting to peel up. So that is bad. I'll need to take it to a experienced cobbler to just re-adhesive it because when you're dealing with the sole like this, all it is is adhesive and adhesive and, and, and adhesive. I think I told you guys I'd make a video about these on their own, so let me know if you guys want to see that. The final pair is a pair of shoes I bought here in Berlin just because I was really looking forward to skating. These are my wear them around and trash them skate shoes that, let's see, I brought my trucks and my wheels, all that, to Copenhagen, Iceland, and now Berlin, but I never had a deck just because that doesn't fit in our suitcase. So I bought a local deck here, bought these from one of the mini thrift stores that is littered with Adidas, Puma, German army trainers. These in particular are some Sambas that have a very similar color scheme going on to a traditional German army trainer. And I've only skated these once today and they are already ripping through so I don't even know if these are going to make it to Belgium but the next few days should be fun with them I got these for 20 euros which isn't too bad and yeah in my size good cool skate shoe I found that awesome pair of Adidas skate shoes but they were way too clunky and way too heavy to bring on to the later stages maybe I shouldn't even bring these on I don't know they're so so heavy a little bit less than, than the triple s but they are crazy to bring along on a trip like this 
Let's talk about some pants. I think you guys will find the rest of the stuff to be more practical, except for the fact that none of it is summer clothing. But that really depends on where we end up. It's just been so hot here in Berlin. So let's pull these guys up. I'm pulling them off the hanger all terribly. These are my Yang Lee wide legged pants. They almost look flared in some pictures, but they are just a giant tube. A giant, giant straight legged pant. These are gorgeous. They are really classy, but I love wearing these just with a t-shirt and a derby or some other boot. It has a little piping on the side. They're wool, they are hot. They're too hot here in Berlin, but they were nice in Iceland and Copenhagen for a little bit, and then it got hot there too. But those are some awesome pants that just give me a wider silhouette, and they're some black uh, creased trousers too. These are my air cuts, couldn't live without these. These are pretty heavy, so Kaylee, the more logical, the more logical voice told me not to bring them. But I still did because it's a white pant, so it's nice in the spring and summer. It's pretty heavy because it's like a Kevlar or some bulletproof material. It isn't, but it's really heavy. And these are just gorgeous. I am in love with how they're white, they're pure, but they are so dirtied and tarnished and torn up. And the pattern on these is just wild with that air cut on the very front seam. Next up, these are actually good in the summer months because it is a much lighter weight material. These are my slim creased black pant. These are the Acne Brobin pant. I'll link all of this stuff down below if it, if it is available anywhere. But this is a slim black creased pant. If anywhere, if anything, these are sort of where my style is moving away from. I've just had them for so long and I've put so much wear into them, but they are absolutely the most versatile thing. It's a narrow pant, you have a little bit of room. It is lightweight material, it's really classy. You can also, again, wear it with a t-shirt or something like that if you wanna dress it down. This is just a great pair of pants that I have absolutely gotten my money out of in the past year and a half, two years. And finally, my last pair of actual pants are these guys right here, which are, of course, my Levi's 505 in this gorgeous washed gray, washed black, now gray, uh, Levi's 505, which I had that other pair that was a true black. I mentioned I wasn't going to be keeping it. I don't know where I mentioned it, but I know I told you guys I'm not keeping that true black pair. They're going to be available via a private sale in collaboration with Grail that you guys will find out later next month. You'll find out a lot more info next month. And I think I'll bring it up with a few other items too. As far as shorts go, is bad news. I brought a pair of Nike gym shorts that I believe my dad handed down to me because he couldn't fit them in fifth grade. And somehow they managed, oh my God, you should see Kaylee's face right now. Somehow they managed to make it all the way out here. And I was just skating in them earlier. They are what I would go for a run in or go to the gym if that ever happens here. I doubt it. But that's where I skated earlier and they're so funny. So I have to get rid of those. I didn't bring my Comme des Garcons asymmetric short. I didn't bring my Kiko Kostadinov 3D side pleated short. Those were just a bit too small for me. Both of those, since I didn't bring them, this is a good point, since I didn't bring them abroad when it's the hot summer months, I knew I had to get rid of them. So they're going to be on that grailed sale for you guys, so keep locked in there. That's really what I need more of. I need a pair of sandals, I need a pair of shorts, and I've been hunting them down on the end of season sales that I've been sharing on my vlog. So you can find all that there, and I will of course keep you up to date if I end up getting anything. Let's talk about some shirts. So the first thing of course is the t-shirt I'm wearing. I believe Kaylee and I brought two plain black t-shirts to share, of course, to share between us, which, which is great. This is a little sleeveless thermal that is a sort of like natural white color. I cut it, hemmed it, cut the sleeves, cut the neck, so it has sort of like a Mad Max, or really you can just layer really well with it. So that's where I got this guy from. It's pretty warm in the hotter weather. But when you can layer, it's great. Love the wider neck, love how it's torn up. And it's just a good t-shirt. There you go. I also brought a plain white t-shirt, which is the Dries Van Noten Henry tee. That is just a 
good fitting, slouchy, casual t-shirt that I got on sale thanks to the good people at Totokayo. Love ya. That one, the only downside is that it's bleached white, so it's a super bright white right now, which I just am not a fan of. I just want a natural colored cotton, natural colored fabric. Kaylee and I also, of course, some Staatsballett clothing, because most of it is too hot to bring uh, from that fall collection with the wool pants and whatever. But we brought, of course, our industrial shirt. This is unbelievable. This is a material that was milled in my hometown. I've talked about it too much. Recycled bottles, organic cotton gives you an insane shape and it's actually useful. So it's made to last. I will skate in this. I would wear it out. Kaylee belts it across her waist and gets some really cool shapes going on with it. It is just an all around good shirt and I think it wicks the water away too. Don't know if that's worth saying or not, but it does. It's a, it's a bit hydrophobic. This right here is my Carol Christian Poel double-breasted shirt. It is this really thick, coarse cotton. It is 100% cotton, but it is so structured, so, so structured. So this one is too hot for here right now, but it's a beautiful one. This is a good example of bringing something because it fits my style so effortlessly. It is culinary. It's like something Dracula would wear. I saw a few people mention that it looks like a bellhop's uniform. These wide fanged collar have a lot of collar points. Collar points have a lot of attitude and just how beautifully this is made. This one I knew on site the very first time I saw it. Gorgeous color. Love the double breasted closure, all that. This is a Raph Simmons top. I actually got this in Belgium a while ago, and I'm gonna go back to that store, I'm gonna hunt more down. This is spring, summer 2004. This is a collection I absolutely love, and I love layering with this, if anything. This, the shirt as a whole is a bit too small for me. It's a size 50, which is pretty big, it's like a large, but this whole season, spring, summer 2004, everything fit really small. So that's something for you guys to keep in mind, but this is a gorgeous washed, black or charcoal, dark gray, whatever. It looks like it was sun bleached or something like that. Garment dyed. This neck anyway, because the shirt is too small for me, this neck looks a bit awkward. I like it at times, but if anything, it's better for layering for me just because it's a bit too small. So this is just a cotton top, 100% cotton. Really, really nice and soft. Just like these next two, I believe are both 100% cotton. This is an Andamula Meester top. It is this almost, almost sheer cotton. It has, it is buttoned incorrectly, apparently. And it has mother of pearl buttons. It has, again, wide fanged collar points. And this is just a material I've been loving, a soft black cotton in any situation. Trousers or linen for that matter, for suiting, for a vest, anything. I just want that soft, black, natural look, or natural cotton, which is exactly what this is. This is a Maison Martin Margiela white shirt. You need to know more? I don't know. It has a hidden placket on the front, which is pretty, which is pretty exciting. It's Lion 10, which is menswear, and it fits really well. This is also, along with the last shirt, something that Keely and I both love to wear, which is great when you're talking about saving space. And finally, we brought a long sleeve thermal. We are about our thermals and our layering long sleeves right now. This is super cozy, this is good. This could be pajamas, you could wear it out on its own, you could layer it. It is that natural white that I say, once again, I'm in love with. As for the short sleeve stuff, because that's what we've been wearing here in Berlin, it is all dirty, so, so dirty. Another play black t-shirt, a television tee, Metallica, black thermal, those are things that we wear on an everyday basis, we work out in, we sleep in, we skate in, and it's also like you can layer it, you can, I don't know, whatever, a band tee goes a long way, a plain t-shirt goes a long way, if it is like a natural black or a natural white, those are my absolute favorites and what I'm looking for in the future. If I'm looking for anything, I want a natural white top with a strong graphic, I want I don't know, who cares? This is the stuff I brought. I'll talk about what I'm looking for in a later video. Now we brought some cardigans. 
This is stuff that Kaylee and I have worn out, let's say. And we both wear both of these and they are really cozy. A little bit more formal, I guess. There you go. This one has a lot of structure to the back, which almost resembles suiting, even though it's this diseased cardigan I've shown you before and I'm absolutely in love with. This is something I just, there's no way I wasn't bringing, bringing it here, even if I only wear it once, which I've already worn it more than that. It is such a gorgeous cardigan and that diseased look just goes a whole long way for me. So that's a Yamamoto cardigan that Kaylee and I both love to wear. And here is of course that Moer Margiela red sweater, too hot right now in Berlin. God, so sad looking at all these beautiful long sleeved knit clunker shoes. Finally, just some accessories for you. I guess the belt I'm wearing, I should show you before this, is the belt that I made. Can you see that? This is a little belt that I made. It's like a traditional Americana menswear belt. Cut the leather, beveled it, dyed it, found the perfect buckle, and here we are. I think this one is like an inch and a half or so, so it looks pretty traditional as far as belts go, but it is pretty sizable, pretty sizable too. This one, I believe, might be the same width, actually. This is that huge, extra, extra long Antimula Meester belt. It has grommets and rivets all over it, and they're tarnishing beautifully. This guy, we usually wrap around this once, tie it in a knot, and let it hang down. You guys have seen it online. This is a ring that I just bought that is Leon Lewis. Just oxidized silver, beautiful black, something that I've been looking for for a long time. And a Mulemeester bracelet. This is a Werkstatt Munchen chain. Hopefully I get to go to Munich too. Then another Staatsballett item, of course, are the rings. The Staatsballett rings, you just can't go wrong. This was such a fun process going after these, making them out of upcycled metal, recreating two old family rings as a single piece. Camera died and I was just winding up talking about accessories, so here you guys go. This is a necklace that I made. This is a two millimeter curb chain, just 925 silver, and then a P38, little military grade P38 can opener for opening your war rations. A lot of people ask me, those that do know what this is ask me if it has personal significance to me. Not really. That is such a common question, especially like for tattoos and such. But not really. My grandfather was in the Korea War and did. I've talked to him about him using this. Uh, but for me, it's more about the product itself. It's really interesting. Not to mention just the shape is great. But it is an honest product. You can use it for so, so many different things. And it's so cheap and strong. Nicknamed the John Wayne, you guys get it. But the other one is this necklace that Keely got for me. Behind the camera. She got this one for me for the holidays or something like that just last year. It is a dual guitar pick necklace. I want to say this is also a two millimeter curb chain. This has some oxidation going on. Or some tarnishing at least because it might be pretty old. I really like this guitar pick because it is threaded or the curb chain is threaded through the pendant and I think that's just a good little idea if you guys want to do some jewelry making because it fixes it in place even when it's hanging and gives it sort of a ritualistic look. But I think that's all I really have to show you. Looking down at this pile there are so many winter clothes, or not winter clothes, but just heavier clothes. So I definitely need to get on the summer clothes, and I'm excited to hunt some stuff down in Belgium. So I'll definitely be sharing more with you guys as far as that goes, and a decent amount of clothes too, but I think it'll give you guys a good idea of what I really identify with, what I thought was worthy to bring out here, because the rest of the stuff is pretty much gone. Kaylee and I is mainly entire life besides some camera equipment, some dishes that we love and other things are now, the stuff that we do have here are now in one suitcase, one and a half suitcases. And this is pretty much all of it. A lot of this Kaylee and I share. She brought two dresses, maybe one extra item, just got a blazer and has her shoes and that's kind of it. If you're interested in seeing her half and the video has came out, I will link it down below because we're gonna film this for her after mine. But 
hopefully you guys thought this was a good video. It was really fun sitting down and hanging out. Until next time, you guys know what to do. Do me one last favor, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys. Take care.